An electromagnetic wave is formed by two different oscillations, an electric field oscillation and a magnetic field oscillation. One field type generates the other field type in a repeating cycle. As you can see, the electric field is perpendicular to the magnetic field, but they both propagate in the same direction. Electromagnetic waves are similar to other waves in nature. For example, think about ocean waves. But there's one crucial difference. Mechanical waves, such as ocean waves or sound waves, require a medium to travel, for example, water or air. Electromagnetic waves, though, don't require a medium they can travel in vacuum. This is how, for example, signals can be sent through empty space. Did you know that the light coming into your eyes that lets you see things is an electromagnetic wave just like the Wi-Fi signal that lets you watch this video? Now let's discuss the basic parameters of electromagnetic waves and really just waves in general. Let's start off with frequency. It's the amount of oscillations that happen per second. We measure it in Hertz. The period is the time it takes a wave to complete one cycle, or one wavelength. We measure it in seconds. The wavelength, denoted as the Greek letter lambda, is the distance between two highest points or the distance between two lowest points, it's really the same. We measure it in meters. And finally, we have speed. The propagation speed of electromagnetic waves is equal to the speed of light, approximately. People often call this speed the speed limit of the universe. We can measure it in meters per second or kilometers per second. This has been Electromagnetic Waves in 100 Seconds. Subscribe to see more and see you in the next one.